Hello students, today let us see this beautiful world of stars and our solar system. Let us understand in detail about our solar system. Our solar system consists of what all? Let us understand. It consists of sun, eight planets, satellites, asteroids, comets and don't forget constellations also. Now, let us understand in detail about the various components of our solar system. The first is the sun. Let us learn some facts about our sun. We all have seen sun. We know it's a very bright star. But let us understand in detail about sun. We are going to learn that the sun is our center of our solar system. It is the brightest star. The temperature at the surface of the sun is 6000 degrees Celsius. It's really very hot. It can hold up till 13 lakhs Earth. We are on one planet, that is Earth. It can hold 13 lakhs Earth. The object revolves around the sun due to the gravitational force. So remember, our solar system consists of the major component that is sun and all the other planets revolve around the sun because of gravitational force. So these are some facts about sun. Let us now learn about our earth. We know this is how earth looks. So now let us understand that why is earth called as a planet. We know earth is a planet. Why? What are planets? Planet is a heavenly body that revolves around the sun. This is how you see all the planets revolving around the sun and rotates about itself in specific orbit. That is, our earth rotates about itself in a specific orbit. Hence, earth is a planet. Wasn't the answer very simple? Yes, it was. Let us now learn about planets in detail. Students, there are eight planets in our solar system. How do we classify them? There are two categories in which we can classify them. The first four planets are called as the inner planets. They are the Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The remaining four planets are called as the outer planets and these are Jupiter, yes you are right, Saturn, superb Uranus and the last is Neptune. Now let us understand in detail about the first planet that is Mercury. We all know that it is the first planet so obviously it is a planet which is very close to the sun. So what do we know about Mercury? We know that Mercury is a planet nearest to the sun. It is the smallest planet. Among all the planets, it is the smallest planet. And it has no moons or rings around it. We cannot see any moon or ring surrounding Mercury. The period of revolution is 88 days. It completes one revolution in 88 days. This is about Mercury. The next is Venus. That is the second planet. It is the sister planet to Earth. Why sister planet? It is next to Earth. So it is called as the sister planet. It is nearest to the Earth. It has no moons. Brightest object in sky besides sun and moon looks like a bright star. If you look at Venus in the sky, it is very, very bright. It looks like a bright star. Wow, isn't this amazing? Yes, I know you all are curious to know about what is it called as. It is called as a morning star or evening star. Superb. And the last is, 
it rotates from east to west. These are some facts about Venus. Okay, students, let us now learn about our mother planet, that is Earth, the third planet from the sun is the earth. The only planet known to have life and water. It has atmosphere and ozone layer. What is ozone layer? The layer which is covering the planet earth. The axis of earth is inclined. Hence, we have season. Isn't it really beautiful that because of the position, we are able to experience different season. Now, let us understand what are two categories of planet that is inferior planets and superior planets. Students, these are the eight planets of our solar system. And the third planet that is our Earth, which you all can see. The planets which are before Earth are called as inferior planets, that is Mercury and Venus. And the planets which are after Earth are called as superior planets. And these are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So these are how the planets are categorized. 